Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 77 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, ah. where I'm currently playing around over finding my nuclear reactor. I kind of come and babysit this thing a little bit between episodes, just to make sure everything's ah. running smoothly, keep an eye on power, and I happen to be standing here while a plague doctor spawned, ah. and he's ready to sell me a plague tome. Ah. Sweet! That is cool. I like that. Appreciate that, buddy. Ah. Now, I don't know what a plague doctor and plague, you know, dude does, but pretty sure... Transforms a play Doctor to Black Death. I want to do this. I just don't want to do it right next to my nuclear reactor. Huh. Okay. Right next to my nuclear reactor doesn't seem like a good idea. And I think last huh. time we tried to do this, I had trouble picking you up, didn't I? Yeah. Despite me huh. shift right clicking you, you're still opening your trades, which is not, you know, ideal per se. So as much as I would love for this Plague Doctor... Can you come over here, buddy? Like, can I lure you over here? Can I have, like, a lead or something that I could do something with? That would be cool. Um, can I lead you? Nope, not so much. What if I poke you? No, he doesn't care. He's like, yeah, poke me all you want, Darwolf. I don't care. Yeah, Go over there or something. Away from my nuclear reactor. No, he's just like, no, I want to stay right by it. Yeah, keep going. Keep going that way. No, 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 Aww. that way. So anyway, I have my I have my Plague Tome, which, by the way, I think you can use as many times as you want. I don't think there's a limit on using that. Um, if I can just lure him away a little bit. I just don't want to... I don't know what he does. I don't know if he's, like, going to destroy blocks, like the Wither, or how the Black Death works. I have no idea what to expect. Uh, but it just so, like, I wasn't actually ready to record right now. I was poking around. You can see what I did was, uh, set up some polonium collection so that I can do some, uh, you know, antimatter production. So here's the deal. Antimatter production uses a lot of RF. Um, if I want to keep up with the production of polonium, I need about two and a half million RF a tick. And this guy's only producing one million RF a tick. So, you know, if you do the math on that, I ain't no math genius, but I'm pretty sure that means that we have a net loss in a significant manner. So you don't want your antimatter running all the time, otherwise you won't produce more power. I was getting a little low on power, not too low, but a little low. So I wanted to, you know, turn on my reactor and, you know, do the antimatter thing. And then I realized, yeah, having the antimatter thing on yields a net loss of power. So if you need power, it's not the way to go. So let me see if I can just push this dude around a little bit. No, he really just wants to chill right near where he spawned, I guess, which is right next to the reactor. Should I just... Should, if at least I'm going to do this, I'm going to do an FTB backup, just in case. I mean, he's wandering away, so that's nice. I got that going for me. All right, let's 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 do the thing. After the backup's done, which we're almost there. Hello, Plague Doctor. I just want to kill the Black Death, uh, because, you know, achievement. But let's do the thing. Should I do my diamond armor? Meh. Meh. Hello, Black Death. Oh, yeah. Oh, you sent plague rats at me. Oh, you plague rats are the worst part of this mod. Oh, is that what you do? Plague rats? The absolute worst. Now I've got the plague for well over five minutes. But hey, I got the the Black Death Scythe. Summons plague clouds on attack. That's kind of cool. Uh, some filth. I got the Black Death Mask. Plague rats will no longer target you when worn. Ooh. Reduces chance of getting plague from rats on contact. Plague rats will no longer target you when worn. I like that. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then, you know, those mysterious token chunks, which was the main reason I wanted to kill him. This time it was more just I wanted the achievement, right, from rats. I wanted to I wanted to get this guy and this guy, which I did, which is cool, right? Um, catch the plague from a plague rat, encounter the Black Death, uh, and do not go quietly into the night. So there you go. And it did not consume the book. So now we can reuse this book whenever we want to get another Black Death. That's kind of cool. All right, neat. 
yeah, so long story short, I was just playing around with my reactor a little bit, and then he spawned there. And I was like, yeah, sure, let's take him down. So reactor's up and running. Uh, it's running with this enabled, which is good. Uh, he's active. Uh, if I wanted to, right, so I'm collecting this polonium in the in the barrels. Remember, they also have to fill up the pipes. So underground, there's basically, I probably should not have that in 7x7 seven seven mode. Um, like pipes are extracting from the barrels to go over to here so that I can hit the lever and turn that on and then hit the lever to turn it off, right? Uh, so I'm pumping as much energy as I can into there because that'll burn through the polonium that much faster. Um, if I wanted to, which I will at some point, I would probably want to add more flux points to this thing on more sides because you can see there's like a little lightning bolt coming out of that side but none of the others. So just for aesthetic reasons, but apparently technically you don't need all these other SPS ports, the six of them. You only need the one, I think, I think. Um, but if we wanted to, you know, take advantage of them since they're built already, we could do that, right? But see how much uh, polonium we've got back stuffed here? Like, the, the pipes fill up quite a bit. Uh, but it will burn through that polonium in a moment. Uh, but you can see it's obviously burning 6.5 million RF a tick to process this polonium. And we're only producing 1 million. So, long story short, we might want to amp up power production at some point so we can handle all this polonium again. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. But either way, um, you're, wow, you really have a lot of polonium to burn through, which is hilarious. There we go, it's finally clearing it out. Nice, and then it'll switch off. So this thing doesn't turn off the, the, the producer thing immediately. Um, you know, it takes a moment to turn off and then, you know, burn through what's inside this pipe. I think what I did is I made this guy redstone control too. So that's, why is there radiation going on here? There shouldn't be. What? I didn't break anything. Literally nothing has broken. It seems to be centered right here. I didn't break anything. Excuse me, I did not break anything. That should not count. That's not ideal, is it? I don't know what that's about. I've been doing this for like the last 20 minutes. Like not even kidding, I've been playing around with this. Why are you all of a sudden all, hey, I've got a lot of radiation here? That don't make no sense. That shouldn't happen. I mean, it'll go away. I'm not concerned about it. Plus, my armor protects me from it. But still, I think I think this connection being broken is what released radiation. So I guess you don't want to break that pipe. I mean, I didn't break it. I redstone signaled it. <laughs> I've been doing this on and off between episodes for a while now, and it never caused a problem. This was the first time I tried applying a redstone signal to this tube, and apparently that's a problem. But yeah, we're redlining for sure. I am very much going to die if I don't have this armor on. Yeah, that's very, very deadly. Um, oh well. Today we learned a new thing, didn't we? We did. We did. We learned we don't want to turn this... We don't want to disconnect this pipe with the redstone signal. Not the end of the world. We just need to wait. We just need to wait for the radiation to dissipate again. I was, I was sad because we literally had this thing completely not a problem. I don't know if I've said, if I've checked recently, but we were literally at li not even any radiation at all. It was completely gone. Bummer. Bummer. Oh well. Learned a lesson today though, didn't we? Didn't we folks? We learned a lesson today. Don't make this redstone sensitive and flip the lever. Anyway. Anyway. Back in a minute. So anyway, I think our plan for today was to check out some of the Ratlantean armor that we can get. I said I was going to mine ore, ore crack, that stuff, the ore, <laughs> between episodes, uh, and I didn't. Uh, so let me get the digital miner, let me get the flux point, I'm going to go mine it now, uh, just because I can, and we'll be right back. I need to get enough of it such that it's... Uh, it's, it's going to make sense, right? I need enough to make a full suit of armor. So it shouldn't be too bad. Um, so yeah, I'll just pop this guy here. There you go. And boop. And start. And that'll give me some extra uranium, too. Sweet. Oh, that's right. I added fluoride ore. That's something I did between episodes. I ran out of fluoride. I think I can delete you for now. 
That's definitely less. That's good. Yeah, I added fluorite to the miner because uh, I was I was out of fluorite and I needed that to produce more stuff. I'm gonna sleep for the night here. I'm gonna leave you because it's the same time in all dimensions, right? In Minecraft, I believe that to be true. It's possible with some dimension mods. That's less true, but pretty sure that's the case. See how it's daytime here now? It's actually very morningish now. A lot of these things running around. They are surprisingly hard to tell where they are. But at least they don't spawn. Got you. I'm just trying to snipe them for fun. Alright. Uh, back in a minute once I've got what I need. Alright, smelting up my rat ore. Let's see what we got. So from rats, we can get, I believe now, the full suit of armor. And we'll probably play with a couple of the other toys that you can get from rats, courtesy of these things that we just did. So we're going to need a diamond helmet. Uh, we're going to need a full suit of diamond armor. So let's just get that. Because, you know, we know we're going to need it. But each of the bosses, as we've seen, drops. Uh, and, I mean, to be fair, biplane, hard to call that guy a boss. But still. <laughs> each of the bosses that we've seen uh, drops a component that we need for this armor. And that's cool beans. And, boom! We've got a full suit. The Gilded God obtain an entire Ratlantis armor set. Doot, 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 doot. So what's cool about this armor, besides it looking awesome, is each armor piece adds a spectral rat that will protect you at all times and keep enemies at bay. Effects stacks for all pieces of armor. It's um, pretty hilarious, I believe. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to handle radiation. I can only assume that it's not going to go well, so I'm going to stay away from my radiation area. But if we can summon uh, some kind of boss, let's try fighting that. Let's try fighting that automaton dude. Right? So we're just going to need one of you. Um, yes, good. And marbled... Not chiseled marble cheese. I think we just need marbled cheese. We have, like, raw marble cheese. Yeah, that'll do. I'll just smelt it all and presumably get more. Marble cheese. Let's go. Let's go fight this boss. Now, obviously, I don't have my mecha speed no more, but I have. Uh, I've got a little bit of speed in flight. Let's try this armor out against this boss that we're about to fight. Now, where did these things come from? I don't even want to know. I don't even know how this got here, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with that with that rat, with that other rat boss that we fought. Here goes nothing. Ready? Boom. <laughs> So I still take decent damage. At what point will my rats protect me? At what point will my rats protect me? Oh, rip. I almost got the armor on, too. I thought the rats would protect me. I also didn't bring any food, because that was smart, right? I should have some baked potatoes. I thought my rats were going to protect me. I thought they were like crazy, powerful, ridiculous rats that protect me from things. I don't know. Hello, cows. It's not a corpse run. I'm sure I'll be fine. Do, 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 do. That's why I didn't go too far from my base. I mean, far, but not too far. Because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, I thought, I mean, number one, I was kind of foolish. I forgot to bring food, because that's a thing that happens. Number two, I really expected that armor to be a little bit more OP. Now, my problem is going to be getting up to my corpse. So let's mine up some dirt real quick. Nothing too crazy, just a few pieces. I don't think I was that much higher, right? Mm, 
maybe a little bit. I don't. I can't really gauge how high that is, but it feels higher than ten. But I don't think it's gonna be much more than like twenty-ish. I guess the boss despawns, so that's good to know. See, I guessed that pretty accurately. Thank you. All right, let's get you re-equipped here, kids. Does that all look good? I feel like that looks pretty good. All right, so what went wrong here? Because I don't feel all that protected. By these little rat dudes who are supposed to be flying around protecting me. Keep enemies at bay. Let's go find some normal enemies. Just to see. Just to see. So let's remove that death point. Alright, so out here at nighttime, we should start encountering mobs at some point. I mean, we're pretty far away. We're pretty far away. I'll tell you. That ritual has some pretty long range to it. <laughs> it really does, but here we go. All right, bad guys. What are my rats doing? Besides not much. I guess they're attacking me. I think they have a little bit of knockback and a little bit of attack. But they ain't doing that much. They ain't doing that much. I think I like my quantum armor better. I think I do. Yeah. Quantum armor better. Or mecha armor or whatever it is. Sorry, it looks kind of like the quantum mech suit. I can't help it. Alright, organized, cleaned, good to go. Let's check out what else we can get from this cool stuff. So looking at the achievements, what else we got? Um, oh yeah. There's a lot of crazy rats that we can get. Uh, I want to do the Ratlantis ones, right? Craft a rat upgrade psychic and have your own very own psychic rat. Uh, Buccaneer giving unnecessary 16th century fire flower to a rat. Um, Ratinator upgrade also sounds cool. I do want the rat upgrade combiner. I do want that. So let's look at that. Combiner. Right? That's a that's a to-do. So we need the avatar of Ratlantis, which is going to need what? Uh, that means in addition to all the things we already have. We're going to need the skull of Ratlantis and more rat glove petals, which we know how to get, so that's not a big deal. But the skull of Ratlantis is going to need a psionic rat brain, so I need another one of those, and golden rat skull, right? Um, so we have to do another Neo Ratlantian fight, and a golden rat skull is just. Oh, that's easy enough. Okay. So that's off the list. Let's go get some rat glove, and let's get the rat combiner upgrade so we can play with making some pretty powerful rat upgrades. So let me just get a few flowers here and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. I've got my rat glove flowers. Technically, I believe I have enough to make two sets of rat glove petals, but I'll hold off. Uh, so I need the skull of Ratlantis now, which needs another psionic rat brain. So remember that is the cured feral Ratlantian. So uh, what was that potion thing called? I can never remember the names of things. I can barely remember the names of the mod itself. Vial of Consciousness. Oh, that's gonna need another one of those dudes. Okay, so I'm going to need these rat glove petals. Good thing I spent a little extra time there, making sure I had enough for two. And I also picked up a feral Ratlantian while I was out there. So let's do this battle with the fully OP mecha armor, because we did one without. We, depending on your definition of survive, survived. I won the battle, I just died afterwards. Hello, feral Ratlantian. Wait, 
take my bow and arrow. He is cool, though. I love how he, like, flies around. I think he, like, you know, I think his AI is such that he will, he will fly if you're flying kind of deal. Or maybe not. I don't know. All right, maybe we don't want to go that way. That way. Hey, if you want to get back into this corner, that's fine with me. Crisis averted. Battle complete. Psionic Rat Bane. Yeah, buddy. Psionic Rat Brain for the win. All right, so with that taken care of, we can now get the Skull of Ratlantis. Booyah. Which should lead to an avatar of Ratlantis. Nice. That's what's up. And now the Rat Upgrade Combiner. Cool. Maximum power. That's what's up. That is actually very much what's up. Oh man, that's a, that's a cool block. Let's put him somewhere where he's not inside a wall. Yeah, that is cool. Look at that thing. That is neat. So this is a very powerful rat thingy. Uh, so what this does is generally with rats, which I need to tame some more rats because all my tamed rats vanished at some point in my life. But uh, basically we can make rat upgrades, right? And in previous, you could only really like have one rat upgrade on a rat. Now that we've accomplished this, this, this task, we can make combined rat upgrades, right? Rat upgrade combined, combination of the following upgrades. So I think I need to craft this guy. Um, and then put him in here with upgrades and potentially one of these token dudes. Because that's what the thing looks like, right? A gem of Atlantis, of, of Ratlantis. Um, and that will allow me to craft combined upgrades that have multiple things on them. Which is kind of neat, right? So if you want, like, rats that can, like, mine and you know, also plant and also harvest and, like, do multiple things. That's what the Rat Upgrade Combiner is all about. It's kind of cool. So let's just look at our achievements here. So craft a Rat Upgrade Buccaneer, craft a Rat Upgrade Psychic, craft a Rat Upgrade Ratinator for a Deadly Rat Cyborg. I definitely want to, like, try those out. I totally got O Rat Calamangus, didn't I? Well, I do now. <laughs> I think they might have always been inside the refined storage system, so as a result, never did it. Uh, so let's try... I want to try the, the Psychic upgrade. The Psychic Rat. I want to try some of these. If they're, if they're cool enough of these upgrades that... Uh, so this one is Extremely Fast Health Regeneration Summons Portals That Attack Targets Telepathically Launches Blocks at Foes. I mean, how could you not want that? How could you not? I really would like to try it. And then the main thing, obviously, that we would like to do is the Accelerat, the Tick Accelerator. Uh, that just needs Tangled Rat Tails, Clocks, and Basic Rat Upgrades. So that doesn't even need any of the Ratlantis stuff. And we can have a Tick Accelerator Rat. It will increase the tick speed of any block it stands over or under. It includes crops and machines. FYI. So that's absolutely something we're going to be looking at. But yeah, so we're going to need another psionic rat brain for this ridiculousness. Basic Ratlantian upgrade, which I think we can either craft like this, or we can use an archaeologist rat, which I should probably look at. Did I make an archaeologist rat? I'm not sure. Oh man, the rat upgrade basic got way cheaper, didn't it? Yes, it did. Rat upgrade block. Why is that a block? I don't know what that does. I have no idea the purpose of this block. What do you do? I don't know. But this guy... Didn't this require diamonds before? I feel like this required diamonds before. But maybe not anymore. That's kind of cool. I feel like that was an update to the mod that made things cheaper. Uh, we may need to automate cheese at some point if we decide we want to go that route. But archaeologist is definitely a thing we're going to want. So we're going to want an archaeologist hat. Which I don't have and I don't know how to get. But bones, yes. Pickaxe, cool. Shovel, okay. Is this a chunky cheese token for the archaeologist upgrade? Rip. Remember how annoying those were to make? Well, I guess I know what we're up to. Uh, rare drop from husks or skeletons in jungles. Husks or skeletons in jungles. Well, that's not fun. Do we even know where a jungle is? I mean, I know that the 
the rat dimension is a jungle, but I didn't see any vanilla mobs spawning in. Right? Like, this is kind of a jungle dimension. But I didn't see any vanilla mobs spawning in it, which is kind of possible. Right? I generally am not seeing any vanilla mobs here. So I got to assume that the way this biome is built is it's not spawning any vanilla mobs, which means that this is not a place to get an archaeologist at. Uh, but the rat upgrade archaeologist is really useful to have, and we definitely want. So we're going to want to figure that out pretty quickly. Uh, that, and we're going to obviously want to turn back on this thing. Now, a couple people were saying I should be able to export bus directly into the trash can. Is that true? We can try this if we want. We can try this easily if we want. Um, so let's say gravel we don't care about. Gravel we don't care about. So can I export bus directly into the trash can? Because clearly some people were saying that. I thought this was something you had to click. Is this working? Seems to be working. He's only doing one item at a time though, maybe. So clearly not as fast. He can't do stacks at a time. So not as fast as we were going with the other guy. Well, since you can't have a stack upgrade, I might as well have a fourth speed upgrade, right? Let's do that. I mean, that's pretty quick, right? I would say so. It looks like it's magneting into my inventory, but I think that's a desync. I don't know, I guess that's about the same speed. That's cool. All right. Sure, why not? All right, so filth is happening. But it's not, I would say, no faster than what I had before, right? It seems to be about the same speed. I bet I could I bet I could hook up multiple export buses. Maybe. 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 Too bad stack upgrades don't work though, right? Ah, oh, we're missing nether quartz. I really need to do something about that at some point. But yeah, I'll let this run because we clearly need to get another Ratlantis token thing. Unless we see any more of those other dudes. So if we check, by the way, right now we've got... I mean, I do have a lot of tiny coins. I don't know where I got all them from, but I have a lot of them. Wow, that does not go far, does it? It really doesn't. Tiny coins do not go far. But I've got five mysterious token chunks. So I got that going for me, which is nice. Um, probably from some of the bosses and whatnot that I've fought. Right? So... I'm going to say it shouldn't be too long to get another one of those cheese token things. And then I just need to go find a jungle. So let me go look. What is it about jungle biomes? You can almost not, like, am I crazy? Or jungle biomes are like rarer than all the biome types. I feel like every time I play Minecraft, and I play a lot of Minecraft, but I feel like it's almost impossible to find a jungle biome sometimes. Like they are exceedingly uncommon. Am I crazy when I say that? Is it a modded only thing? Like, because I don't even have biomods in this in this pack, right? Like, so, um, huh? Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's a lot of biomodifiers. There's the Menglin biome from Integrated Dynamics now that that's added, but that's you know only adding one biome type. I don't think it's a lot. I found quite a lot of dark forest, quite a lot of swamp so far, flying around like a madman, and still nothing that resembles a jungle. What's up with that? I'm sure this is common knowledge. It's vanilla knowledge, though, and Dyer just doesn't know that stuff. So anyway, back when and if I find one. Well, I found a, a guardian temple, so that's cool. Still haven't found a jungle biome, though. Marked it on my map so that I can revisit it later at some point. Found one of those illager outposts, too. Still no jungle, though. Look at all this flying around I've done. No jungles. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I mean, because we're kind of close to the end of the episode anyway. Let me go find a jungle. Hopefully I'll find one at some point in my life. Or I'll just, you know, 
run out of world gen. That could also happen. And uh, we'll we'll come back and get the archaeologist upgrade, and then try to play around with some of the more ridiculous rat upgrades and see what kind of hilarity we can generate. But also, I definitely want the tick accelerator because. I mean, it's a tick accelerator, right? So if I can get a lot of those, that would be great. So I'm going to leave my filth maker running so that uh, it can it can do the thing, right? It can it can get us lots of filth so we can get lots of those uh, rat boss guys, right? The rat kings or whatever they are. That's where you get those tangled tails from that we need for the tick accelerator. So yeah, let's come back next episode for that. For now, it's wrapping up point. So Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, some pretty cool upgrades and, and fun gadgets we got to play with today. Uh, some of them were not as exciting as I thought. I, I feel like those those rat things would be more powerful. But maybe not. Uh, maybe I'm misremembering that. But that's okay. It's okay. We still have some pretty OP gear. And uh, we'll play with some ridiculous rats upgrades next episode. For now, take it easy.